Stephen? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, first of all, I, I want to thank the chief for complimenting our guys. It's always wonderful to hear that. I, we all know that, those of us who, who pay attention. We've got a, a good bunch of guys, and you're probably a pretty good chief because they're not complaining. So, <laughs> but. Uh, I also want to commend you in your uh, preparation work, and I actually have some uh, questions. I, t I, I, uh, I've been studying a little bit about uh, uh, the coronavirus. My wife was in Asia uh, just last week, and uh, so I was real concerned about what was going on. Um, and uh, one of the things I, I I, I looked at was uh, how they reacted during the Spanish flu times. And one of the lessons from that was that the survival rate, uh, when things got really bad, was dependent on the nursing care that people received. Um, the, the women who would go in and make sure people were getting fed, their, everything getting, get, gotten taken care of. I think that if this hurricane blows through here, uh, our guys are going to get a lot of overtime, maybe too much overtime. It's You guys are going to be completely strapped and you're going to need a volunteer uh, contingent um, to help do some of that intermediary care, not in the hospital, not, you know, just looking in on people. And I don't know if there's a countywide uh, initiative or you have it in San Rafael or maybe it's something that we should broach uh, the county with, is some sort of volunteer response, above and beyond what you have in the fi uh, volunteer firefighters themselves. So, Sure, you know what, I, I would like to post that to Health and Human Services, which is kind of driving all of the protocols right now, so right. I, I will definitely pitch that to them. Something like, uh, you know, basically Meals on Wheels plus a little extra. We, we really do need that, yeah.